Good morning, folks. Welcome back to Whatever Wednesday. We're playing Valheim. <laughs> I should probably don't need to say much more than that, but yeah, we're playing Valheim. We finished fighting the Elder last time, so we got our little swamp key. We've got a little carve, and we're going to try to find a swamp, but primarily first, before anything, when we find a swamp, we're trying to find a certling spawner. Because that will let us get more certling cores basically whenever we want, which will let us make portals everywhere. <laughs> so that's kind of the, the main crux of what we're wanting to do because then we can start looking to... I have this idea of finding a, a decent swamp nearby and then trying to see if there's like a good meadows biome near it and then moving our base there. But we're also going to want to make a portal at, like, spawn and where, like, the little stones are and stuff like that. But, yeah, so we've got a lot of stuff to do in Valheim today. But before we begin that, I am still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund. Oops. I, I, I've said this a million times. I should remember this by now. Uh, helps pay bail to secure the safety and liberty of individuals in jail and immigration detention. If that sounds like something that you'd like to support, I have a donation button below my stream. I have an exclamation point donate command. That command is shared every 30 minutes by my chat bot. And on the screen in the bottom left corner, when the stream comes up, there will be a QR code you can scan to also take you to the donation page. I don't receive any sort of compensation for donations, so this is just a, an easy way for me to stream and potentially support a nice charity. Any support one way or another to me or the charity is greatly appreciated. Hey, just on time. Hello, my friend. Hopefully you're doing well this morning. Sounds like you just woke up, so hopefully you're nice and cozy. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we just, I just literally just started to, so right on time. Come on, video game. I know you, I know you can do it. Just waiting for it to start displaying. Mm. We go. Good morning, Osgo. Dreaming, streaming. <laughs> okay, that's my offline character. I think this is our. Um, I've got too many characters. I think this one is the stream character. So we'll do that and then stream. Yeah, my offline files a, a, at least a, a, a level stage or two ahead of where this one is. Just because, well, I tend to str I tend to play it on my own time a lot more because <laughs> I just really like the game. You know. But how are you doing this morning, Osgo? New Valheim. <laughs> see, how many boards do we even have in here before it broke? I don't know how this thing even broke up here, but it, it did. But we're not gonna worry about this right now. But we have we have boar to we have boars in here that we can breed up or do what we need to do with them. In the meantime, okay. You trapped in bed? Um, is it because it's too warm and you don't want to leave bed, or are you sick? I mean, you obviously don't have to like tell me, but. Okay, so we, uh, we have just a portal here so that we can... Uh, too cold? Yeah, understandable. I, I was kind of feeling it this morning. I was like, yeah, but I'm streaming today, so I kind of have to. All right. Since we're going to the swamp, we um, absolutely need some of these.
<laughs> Kitty Gana has to be a conehead for a little while. Kitty. <laughs> Let's grab all these carrot seeds. Uh, we'll probably replant some, if not all of these. Because we're, when we're going to the swamp, uh, we're going to be finding a new seed there, hopefully. That will we'll be growing primarily instead of carrots, but... So, let me go grab my little... Little gardening tool. It's one of these places. <clears throat> there it is. Let's see. We we ended up with the uh, 150 seeds. So I I planted uh, 50 carrots and got 150 seeds, and then you can just plant all the carrots again. I don't know if we even have enough room for all those carrots, so we're gonna probably just plant. Uh, let's try to make sure I'm. Angled nicely for this. Okay, that looks like a good angle, so let's. Oh, I'm not I'm not rested, that's annoying. I should have I should have made sure I had my rested buff before doing this, because this takes a lot of stamina. And most, and I don't really, yeah. Okay, these these ones are fine. Let's go get that rested buff because that'll make planting a lot less annoying. So we're just gonna go like hang out in our hang out in our little chair over here, I guess. <laughs> it's like twenty seconds or so for you to get the rested buff when you're near a fire and resting and etc. There we go. The reason we want that is if we look at our uh, there's, I know there's something that shows oh. There's well, yeah, there's one in the uh, this uh Valheim compendium that shows active effects and uh, rested, which is this one gives you a which it doubles your stamina region which is massive so you'd like <laughs> we're just chilling yeah so you almost always want to be do have your rested buff twitch trying to sell you a card it's like bitch you think i have money <laughs> fools you'll never know my real account <laughs> Kind of do a test walk to see where character ends up. Okay. If I plant, if I plant some of these too close together or too close to the wall, they'll just not grow, and that'd be kind of a waste of our time. So I'm trying to carefully space them out. Or at least about as carefully as I can. Yeah, it's rainy now. You, you, you've been gone so long, I decided to rain. <laughs> nah, the Twitch, ad, the Twitch ad verse is like, ooh, you want a car so bad. Okay, how many more seeds do we have? 60? Okay, we can might actually be able to pull this off with the space we have. Full! Okay. 
I have a bicycle. I got legs for days. <laughs> okay, 30 more seeds. It's like two more rows of our little frantic running planting situation. Like, this may seem silly what I'm doing to plant these, but this is by far the fastest way to just get shit planted and then just leave it alone and go do something else. Alright, that's all 150 seeds. Yeah, the alternative was I, I previously would plant them manually and carefully space everything out, and that took so long. Like, so unbelievably long. <clears throat> like, to the point of it's, like, almost not being worth it to fucking grow anything. <laughs> like, it's, it was bad. Uh, what food can we make? Because cooked fish is great, but we only have so much of it, I think, and... Yeah, we're gonna... It's gonna be a little bit before we can get to the next best thing. But... Hmm. Well, admittedly, we're probably not gonna do anything with our deer meat, so we might as well cook some of that in the, in th in the interim. I think that gives, like, 35? Hmm. Let's look at our options. We could do a minced meat sauce with some carrots, but I'd rather save those carrots for breeding boars. There's like always a draw. There's always a trade-off. Hmm. Do I have any of the stuff to make some of those uh, stamina p potions? Got that. Got that. I don't think I have any of those mushrooms though which I mean I could probably go get some <clears throat> but mm. <clears throat> yeah we'll, just, we'll hold off on that I'll Okay, I don't remember where my boat is. It's probably down here somewhere, though, because that's... Actually, no, it's probably over here somewhere, because I, um... I was like, oh, that's gonna be, like, my little dock or whatever. Which, great, cool. <laughs> sure, but... Mm. Actually, it's pretty ill-advised to sail right now, because with it being stormy, um... <laughs> I have a bicycle. Do something else! <laughs> With it being stormy, uh, we could run into a sea serpent that could very likely destroy our boat and leave us in the ocean. So we, we might actually go to that dungeon and get some of those mushrooms anyway. <clears throat> yeah, there's sea serpents in this game, and they don't fuck. They don't fuck around. They'll they'll chase your boat down and attack it and sink it, and then they'll eat. They'll kill your ass, so. Oh. Speaking of kill. Mordor. Mordor in the woods. Oh, we got a, a birch here. It's got knocked down from probably the troll I dragged through here at some point. They'll fucking, they'll, they'll fucking get you. Yeah, they will. They will, they fucking get you. <laughs> side here. Oh. Stand on this rock, get our stamina back a little bit. 
And then we're gonna head up to the dungeon. Uh, probably grab these while I'm here. I have these marked on the map. I don't. Let's mark those before I leave, just in case we need to collect some more at some point. Because I'm, 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 I'm guessing by today we'll have um, the means to use thistles to make food. So it's, it'd probably be wise to grab some more while I'm just out and about. Copper. Oh, there's just like another one like right next to it. At some point, we might need to mine copper again, but hopefully at that point, we'll, um... Ooh, you're a one star. Not good enough, Skelly Bun. Oh, there's another dungeon here. I don't know if we've even been to this one. That's funny. I probably stumbled by this thing several times. <clears throat> no, bank. Thanks, Bank of America, but I don't even have an account with you. If if that's even your real name, <laughs> if that's even really Bank of America. It's pro. It might not be. I don't even. I haven't had a Bank of America account in like almost 10 years <laughs> they're like sorry your Amazon account is shut down and the like the phone call is from Bank of America <laughs> good morning Emil. Oh, skeleton <laughs> give us your money even though they would have already technically have it if they're the real Bank of America and I had an actual account there Good morning, Emil. We are playing Valheim, and I am in one of these dungeons because I just kind of stumbled upon it, and I need uh, little mushrooms anyway. Frankly, I need the mushrooms more than anything else that would be in here, because... We're about to go to the Swamp Biome, which is the next, like, kind of age of the game, quote-unquote, which is, like, the Iron Age. You know, that kind of deal like that. Bony boys. I, mean, I can use these uh, little yellow mushrooms to um, make some mead. There's a lot of skeletons in here just hanging out. Well, I will take some extra. I hate the Iron Age. N nobody takes anything seriously anymore. They're all ironic. <laughs> okay, well, this little branch or whatever is empty now. Of mushrooms and all. Oh, that's the door. I was like, what's this? That's the door. Grab these little mushrooms. Nothing else there. Okay. It's pretty dark, and I apologize for that. I don't think I have. Can I make a torch? Oh, I can just. I can make a torch. All right, cool. There we go. Let's fix that. Now we can see. Not just you, but me also <laughs> can also see because it is dark as shit in these little guys. We're past the need of really coming in here, other than like me wanting to get some. Uh, Some of these little yellow mushrooms I'm grabbing from the floor. If I'm not mistaken, this dungeon is done and we didn't get a single certling core from it, but that's fine because that's not why we came here, but it's still very, uh, like, wow, I'm glad I didn't come here. Unless I missed a branch, which, I mean, it's possible I didn't have my torch open. A torch open? What? How do you open a torch? 
But yeah, normally these little dungeons can have like at least a few startling cores so you can like make a portal or something like that. But like this one's pretty bare bones. Like even for like, we did get at least 10 mushrooms though, which is nice, but we're, we're gonna end up going to another dungeon to get more mushrooms because I just kind of wanted to collect some. But yeah, the, uh, yeah, otherwise this is a pretty big flop for one of these little dungeons. Pretty big flop for such a little dungeon. All right, well, out we go. <laughs> okay, well, let me mark this thing as this is fucking disappointment on the map. I'm, I'm assuming these are these little icons are meant for like portals, but I like using them to mark dungeons because they're big and pretty obvious. Get a big and pretty obvious. That's a gray dwarf spawner. There's some kakarot seeds. Here we go. Here's the thing I was looking for. <clears throat> Come on, boners, get over here. Oh, I guess boner. There's all. There's only one. And we're literally just here for these mushrooms. Because to make some uh, stamina restoring, uh, basically potions, we need the, uh, some of these little yellow shrooms. I probably didn't leave any other swag in here on my, way, my previous visit, but if I did, I'd probably be able to take it with me. don't care about the the bones we probably have already have way too many bones because there's like a million skeletons in this game <laughs> <coughs> they all and they all drop bone fragments Okay. Is there anything else this way? I don't know if I looked. I probably did. Yeah, I did. Strictly here for business. And there's not much business to be had. Because <laughs> this one was originally just, you know, just lost skeletons, etc. But now it's just. The only things that are really in here are these mushrooms they, that respawn every so often. Oh, how did I miss one of these? You know what? Whatever. Cool. <laughs> Those are the things that usually come to these for in early game, because you need them to make like a furnace. I somehow managed to miss one just in the hall right there, so I guess that's a little snippet of what you're looking for when you come here. <laughs> you also kind of want to find these, but you can find these elsewhere, so it's not as impactful. Well, that was interesting. No, we do have uh, a decent amount of the mushrooms now, so... All right, cool. Hopefully it's not raining anymore. Doesn't seem like it is, but. Look out, it's a gray dwarf. They don't like fire, so they'll usually kind of avoid you like throw rocks at you and just like avoid being near you if you got a torch it's usually just faster to kill them anyway but you know if you, if you kind of or, or if you're kind of out of options you're annoying me great dwarf shaman 
Yeah, I was marking those th those thistles on the map just because, well, things respawn in this game like that, so it'd just be uh, nice to get more. of those in the future. <clears throat> Ooh, we got a nice little boost across the, the river by the great of throwing a rock at me. How's our weight looking? Oh, our weight's fine. Oh, hello, big boy. You gonna fight me? You thinking about it? Hello? I mean, they're not they're not, not much of a challenge because at this point I'm just a little strong for them. But get juked, you fucking fuck. <laughs> not really much of a juke, more of my just like kind of moved in a different direction. <laughs> Dandelion, ancient seed. Uh, do I? Is there something I just don't care about right now? Probably these. I really don't. Honestly, I don't really care about the ancient seed either, but at least has more utility than I don't know something that some of the other garbage I had. Let's cut this tree down while I'm heading home. I, I'm gonna need more of this uh, this uh, fine wood anyway, so I might as well get some while I'm kind of just here. <clears throat> Oh yeah, Grey Dwarves just come out of the woodwork everywhere, like, they're obnoxious. <laughs> yeah, the, the enemy spawn rate of stuff goes way up once you're, uh, once it's night time. So usually if it's like near nighttime, it's best to just kind of go to sleep. <laughs> you didn't even hit me, rude ass. No, screw you, I'm going home. See, like we're just like running into the, running through the woods. Uh, there's just a million of these gray dwarves. Uh. Alright, let's fix up. Fix up all my garbage. Really? You fucking prick. <laughs> Just trying to trying to break my shit. I do not appreciate that. For a gray dwarf, they're awfully green. Okay, we're gonna want to take 20 of these with us again. Too much stuff. <laughs> I think I had, I started specifically putting stone out here because I just had way too much. <laughs> Let's just try to. This is also why I want to move house, because these motherfucking gray dwarves just show up and start harassing my stuff all the time. Like, I'll just be like, oh, I'm just sorting my inventory, and then just, there's a gray dwarf. It's probably gonna happen, it's probably gonna happen again. Let's make some meat bases though. Like the whole point of me going to those dungeons was to get some of these uh, yellow shrooms here. <clears throat> I 
it's also just something that can happen while we're doing other stuff is this mead can kind of just make okay raspberries go away these can go in here too weird berries that you basically you can basically use these weird berries here to uh, reset your food that you have here although most time it's easier just to kind of just let it expire anyway instead of that okay we'll just try to toss this uh, that on there nappy time <laughs> I'm gonna need 10 wood, I might as well just uh, take that with me. We'll need 10 wood to make a, a workbench so, so I can make another portal nearby so that we can uh, get back. Because this portal will, here, once with it set up, will let us come back here once we put the other one down. Because now that the weather is a little nicer, we should be able to go sailing. I don't know if I've seen any swamp yet. So we might, we might just have to kind of go a direction. Maybe, probably depending on which direction the wind's blowing, we might determine where we explore. Because otherwise it can be a little s slow going sometimes. Okay, we made, the, we made this bridge on like the first stream because I was like, oh, I want to be able to cross over here. And then it ended up, not, ended up not being like, I mean, technically this leads over to here, which connects to where we fought the other boss, but otherwise it's not very interesting. But now we've uh, repurposed into a bit of a dock. Let's uh, back it up. They never taught me this in boating school. <laughs> kind of angle the boat, and then we should be able to kind of start going, o getting away. F fine, we'll just push the damn boat. That works too. This, these boats are pretty small, so you can kind of maneuver them a little bit more easily. <laughs> I was trying to show off my non-existent boat sailing prowess, and uh, yeah, it's non-existent. Oh, uh, it might be awesome because there's like a fucking rock underneath me, or something. Oh, yeah, I can see the the tip of it there. Yeah. Case in point, I was I was on top of a rock. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Well, we can see if there's anything out this way. Just kind of sail straight off this direction and see uh, if we find any goodies. Try to sail with the wind at our back and see what we can find. Oh, 
I see a land formation off uh, that direction. So let's uh, angle that way and see what we found. With luck, we'll find the merchant, which would uh, sell us a few things that would make the next uh, st straight stretch of the game significantly m easier. One of them being the Megan Yord, which is a power belt that like increases your carry capacity by 50%, which is like 150 more carry weight, which is massive. Let's see, hold a bunch of more stuff. Looks like there was an island over there, that direction. Maybe it'll be connected to this one, maybe not, but if not, we'll kind of go there next as well. Oh, of course it's going to get stormy. Of fucking course it's going to get stormy. Well, I guess you might see me die in real time on stream because there might be a fucking sea serpent. I mean, you can fight them, but there's a real chance that you'll just... Your boat will get, it's gonna get destroyed. Well, at least this boat can get destroyed by sea serpents because of their speed and their damage and whatever. But So we might find a sea serpent <laughs> because it decided it wanted to get rainy very suddenly and we're in the middle of the fucking ocean. If, if there's a sea serpent, you'll know. What was I even sailing towards? I could have sworn there was like a landmass or something this way. Maybe it was a sea mirage. Oh, wait, no, I see trees. Sail towards the trees. What in the hell did I just find? Like the littlest shitty island I've ever seen. I mean, it's cool, but it's very small and there's, doesn't really. Don't really oh, there's some deer! <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna just, uh, sail this way. It's weird, because I think the, uh, the meadows biome is currently not rainy, but the ocean biome is, so... <laughs> it's a little sketchy trying to sail when the ocean's rainy. But yeah, the worlds, the worlds in this game are procedurally generated like, you know, other games like Minecraft or whatever, so... Unless you specifically choose the same seed as someone else, like, your map's gonna look just completely different. So I don't really know what I'm getting myself into by sailing these places. Ah, oh, the wind changed, so now we gotta s put the sails down. Because the wind is, like, literally blowing against us. Good time for me to catch up on my breakfast, though. There's just a fish laying on top of the water. He's sleepy, yeah. I mean, sometimes you just gotta take a nap on top of the water. Yeah, th if he, this is how big each map is, for context. So you, there, there's a, it's just big, big. We did find another black forest. So this is a uh, promising place to land here. Mostly because the uh, merchant spawns in a black forest biome. That's the only place he spawns, and he'll most most of the time have one specifically where he's like it's like 
he's the only thing really on the island other than like maybe some dungeons so we're gonna take a pit stop here and kind of wander around and see if maybe he did spawn here or maybe this is where the game chose to spawn him so we'll just boop Uh, perhaps we should, uh, park the boat somewhere a little less stupid. <laughs> I got, there would probably would have been a, a better choice than wherever I'm going now, but we're going. Really? They wasted, like, no time just harassing me. Uh, boat. I like to do that so I know where my boat is. Or where I left it, allegedly. Yeah, we're just gonna kinda go for a little bit of a run. Yeah, these gray doors aren't very uh, threatening. <laughs> as long as you're, as long as you you have stamina and a weapon, like a, like an axe, like they're pretty uh, easy to handle. I'll take the feathers and uh, I'll just take everything, whatever. In part, cause the time of day it is is. Partly why I'm just exploring around. There's a troll cave. Surprised there's not a troll there. So yeah, we'll just do a, a do a nice little uh, lap around the uh, kind of this island, I guess. Don't run by me. <laughs> Rude ass. So we are running. <clears throat> oh! Skeleton was shooting at the skeletons are killing the deer. This skeleton in particular is about the little bowman. Oh hello, naturally spawned one star boar. See, there is, there is a swamp over this way, because those nasty, those scraggly-looking trees are in the swamp. So, yep, there is a swamp pretty close by this black forest. So we might poke our head in there. We might sail around that, depending on. Uh, I mean, it's kind of midday, evening, early evening time, so we might have to uh, hold off on that for right this second. 
Like, I'm not gonna go in the swamp, but we'll kind of, like, go around the outer fringe. Because, yes, we do want to find a swamp, but there's, uh, something specific we're looking for in the swamp initially. There's, like, these jets of flame that can be coming out of the ground that spawn these little critters called certlings, and they drop certling cores. They're the things that you'd go into the little dungeons for previously. But this spawner just spawns these little dudes that just drop them, like, very often, and that's very easy to get more cores that way. So yeah, we're gonna kind of skirt around the, uh, really? <laughs> they just throw rocks at you. Now, we don't have any, like, good armor or anything. The rocks, or the rock throwing is a little, is more than annoying. Like, it can be actually a, a pain to deal with, but otherwise, they're just kind of annoying. It's all they're really good. They're really, the only thing they're really good at at that point is just being annoying. Mood, bestie. <laughs> oh, this little thing doesn't even have a chest. Rude. Also, the elevation of like these swamp biomes is much, much lower than most of the other. Uh, biomes it's like i mean like meadows is pretty close to sea level a lot of times but like swamp is like at or below sea level just because you can see the water that was a third gray dwarf the third all right, we probably could have sailed somewhere else at this point. Just I, I misinterpreted the the time of the day. I thought it was like kind of like the start of like the evening time. That's okay. We're scoping out this swamp a little bit. Ooh, the spawners in this area are, in the swamp are nasty because there's these uh, rotting corpse piles that spawn Draugr. Which Draugr are simultaneously the, like some of the most annoying enemies in the swamp and some of the most useful because they can drop entrails which you can use to make sausages <laughs> because yeah sausage casings from uh, rotting like oh from rotting corpses yay Oh, see, there's a Draugr right there, actually, because there's these little set pieces that spawn. I was going to say, are you being chased by a skeleton? I mean, skeletons spawn in the swamp, so that wouldn't really be that big of a that big of a stretch to see, you know, a skeleton there, but... don't know what that Draugr was yelling about. It wasn't me, because otherwise I would be chased by it right now. It's probably a deer. They they very happily chase and kill deer. Oh, there's some poop, some slime dudes. Those are not fun. Mainly, it's just trying to see if I can find those jets of flame coming out of the ground. Ooh, mushrooms. Let me grab those. We're gonna probably need those at some point. Oh, well. Might not have a spot open for them, huh? Oh, shit. Probably this.
Yeah, I'll probably end up sailing around the outside edge of that biome. Just to see what else is further in, because you can't really get a super good look. Yeah, we might have to make some. We might have to figure out some more food um, when we get back to. Because yeah, we have one more carrot soup left, and we just ate our last um, our last cooked fish, and we currently don't have a way of reliably getting fish. So yeah, it's kind of annoying. Like we can find fish laying on like the shore, because like sometimes they jump out of the water and they just <laughs> land on well the land. And then that's just like a free snack, basically. You can't really rely on that unless you specifically know how to make like an area where they'll consistently jump and land on the shore, but I don't know that tech. So it's mostly just, oh, did I get lucky and find, you know, a fish? Yes. Consume. <laughs> All right, well, there's our bow. We're gonna make the, uh, the portal thing to go back home, sleep, and make some food, and then we'll likely come back here, sail around the outer edge of the uh, swamp island, or the, the rest of the island, rather, because... So, yeah. if, the, if, if, the, if, the, if the trader was here, we would have seen his little icon appear on the map, like, a little bit ago. But he is not, because we kind of... Oh, there's a fucking... Of course there's a troll. Why wouldn't there be a troll right now? A troll and like 10 gray dwarves, of course. Let's kill that one. Yeah, I need these gray dwarves to die. They're just gonna get in the way. Okay, I might be being a little too foolhardy right now, because let me just uh, shoot you with the, with the arrows, little Mr. <laughs> little Troll. Yeah, Little Troll. Now, it'd be smart if I wasn't fighting this troll right now, but I never claim to be smart. Oh, I missed. I never claim to be good at shooting either. Two star grade if that's a little more annoying. Okay, yeah, this is a little uh danger da dangerous, you know. Okay, troll is dead. I can fight everyone else, or I can try. My problem right now is I'm just really low on stamina because I don't have rested and it's night, so it's just bad time for stamina. However, I am a wrecking machine when it comes to these gray dwarves. Alright. 
need a little bit more stamina and we'll kill this guy and then we'll leave because that was just a really unfortunate time to spawn like 10 gray dwarves and a troll but you know what it's fine you you gonna do something thought so punk ass all right well let's pick up all this garbage from all these gray dwarves Every single one of them drops a wooden stone that I just don't have room for everything, apparently. Was a oh, buckberries. Could not give a shit less about a about a fucking buckberry. Well Are you serious? Stop. I'm busy. <laughs> Alright. Put this down and then we'll put this down. And we'll go through the portal a little late, but we, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're feeling mighty. Ugh. I can just kind of start dropping some garbage off. Do we have any trophies? No. Oh, actually, no, we do. We have that. The, any other plants? We got this mushroom. Got some treasures, bones, scraps, hides, feathers. More resin than I know what to fucking do with. A bunch of wood. Most of that. Most of that wood. <laughs> That's from just the gray doors dropping like onesies and twosies. That's just how many of the bastards you end up killing, like just all the time. Okay, we. I'd rather store gray door fives than resin. You need. You end up needing a lot more gray door fives than resin, but even then, we're probably fine on both at this point. But go over there. Big old glob of goo. We're gonna cook like five deer meat to kind of substitute as a uh, food source right now. Like, okay, that's closed. Uh, let's see. We're also gonna make some carrot soup, which needs mushrooms. I'm glad I grabbed at least some because I think I ran out of mushrooms actually. Well, cool. Well, we grabbed four, so that's four more soups. Those um wait what what no I don't want to cook boar meat that's like just worse all right let, let's actually you know, properly uh, do things let's put my boar meat away. I see we already have a good amount of it, but, you know, sometimes a lot of food in the next part of the game uses boar meat, like sausages do, there's like this turnip stew you can make that uses it, so it's good to have some in general. Just watch... Just watch the deer meat cook. Yeah, it's 35 health. It's like 10 less than the, um, than the fish, but... Uh... 
Can you keep it fucking down, you asshole? <laughs> You too. Come, don't run from me. You're gonna come to my house, start wrecking shit, and then run away. Fuck you. <laughs> Alright, let's just let's pass the time. Oh, I can hear more of them outside. What? Where are you going? Where are you going? Fuck you. Come back. <laughs> Fucking punk ass. Just like, oh, I'm going to cause problems and run away. Woo. Fucking shitter. Let's just put that away. And we have we have enough food to last us for a little bit. Of course it's raining. Why wouldn't it be? Let's grab this while we're here. Let them keep let them start making some more honey. How are these doing? They're still going? Okay, cool. Well, it's probably it's probably rainy over here too, but whatever. You only really find sea serpents if you go out to the ocean. We're not gonna be doing that. We're gonna just be going around like the coast. Oh, I didn't think I was gonna actually make it in that. Um, in the in the boat, I, I think I barely did. Now we're gonna just sail the, our boat around the coast and see if we can find any goodies. Look at all these rocks. Oh boy, sandbar, my favorite. And we got a little bit of wind. Might make us go a little faster. It's not much, but it's probably faster than just the standard rowing speed. Now we're sailing towards the wind, so we're probably going to have to uh, adjust. <clears throat> There's a very real chance this is just a sailing stream, not going to lie. Because... <laughs> I really, really need to find the Sertling spawner so that I can uh, make more portals because without the Sertling cores you can't make more portals and going through those little dungeons is easy but kind of boring so having a spawner, the spawners also give coal so we won't have to make our own coal anymore. We just kind of show up, watch them die and then uh... I haven't, explain, haven't even explained the best part about these Sertling spawners is like if you dig out the ground underneath it to where it's just like water, the Sertlings will spawn, touch the water, and then start to die. <laughs> They'll just start to die immediately because they are, you know, fire creatures. Water, no good. Oh, there's a fucking leech. 
Uh, the leeches are annoying and dangerous if you're, like, in the water swimming around. Because they'll poison you, they'll attack your boat, they're just not fun. Looks like the rain might be going away soon, though. Not the fog, though, because why? Why? We're just sailing. Rain's back. <laughs> It's a little hut there where some Draugr probably spawned at. They're probably underwater or some stupid shit. I initially was was a little excited because those green flames, but no, that's not a dungeon in the swamp. That's just like a little weird. That's like a rune stone, which is fine, but that's not really anything specifically necessary to deal with. It's also just really unlucky that we're just completely, like, just the wind is blowing in the completely wrong direction, so we're just gonna have to kinda. Looks to be another swamp over there, so if we, if we sail around the entirety of this one and don't really find anything worthwhile, then we can, uh, go over there and see. And honestly, it might end up just being like connected like by this area to over there, so who knows. I just wish it would s just stay stopped raining. <laughs> so I could see a little more easily. Okay, now I think those are separate islands. I'm frankly surprised we don't have like a big entourage of leeches just chasing after us right now, because... I don't think they're that much slower than the boat at this very basic speed, but like... Yeah, that'd be a dangerous island to go, because over there I think is Plains, which is the uh, fifth biome. Because the swamp is the third, the mount going up to the mountains is four, and the, the Plains is five, and they can just be kind of mixed near other biomes and they're very dangerous like there's these mosquito enemies that spawn in there that can just like boop your snoot and then you're just dead <laughs> so uh, I try to give a, a, a nice wide berth to those biomes we have a little bit of wind so maybe that'll be faster Eh, probably not, because it's not really that much. So far, so not great. We haven't really seen any of those uh, spawner things. Like, especially when it's gloomy like this, they're very hard to miss. <clears throat> Yeah, we accidentally found the plains biome. 
Oh, oh, we're turning around. We are turning the fuck around. Because that would be a... A death sentence going anywhere near that. Um, music's nice, but that's... We might try to find go to the other swamp island. Let's see if we have better luck there. Yep, this might just end up being <laughs> the sail a sailing stream. I'm not gonna say the sailing stream because there's almost certainly gonna be more than one. Let's eat some of our food that we brought with us. Okay, yeah, we're fine to kind of go out on the ocean because it's not raining on the ocean. Oh, would you like that? There's another plains biome over there, but at the very least, we can kind of sail near this swamp and not be near the, the plains. At least I can see it coming this time instead of just it showing up. <laughs> Maybe we would have a better luck going that side of the island, but eh, we'll see if we can find any good thing good over here. Maybe, maybe not. Big stone. Draugr's just spawned out of nowhere. Love that for him. This swamp biome part doesn't seem like it's very big at all. Which frankly might be perfect because we might be able to sneak in there and find some easy turnip seeds. Or something. Or if I'm sailing by and I spot some, we'll probably stop and grab them and try to get back in the boat really quick. So now I'm kind of keeping my eyes peeled for some... Some turned up seeds. There's so many goddamn leeches. Yeah, this isn't a very big biome. At least... This part of it's not. Perhaps we'll park over here. Where there's a pretty clear spot to park, or at least looks like one. And perhaps we'll search for some seeds. Cause I don't know if I've even seen any dungeons in this little stretch of swamp. Probably not, but... Well, no fish in the boat today. today. <clears throat> Oh, must hit a rock. <laughs> oh, look, it's our friends, the Grey Dwarves. Yay! All right, yeah, let's, uh... Yeah, you don't want to get poisoned by these guys, but you don't want to get bit by the leeches. They, um, they poison you. Which is not great. We're gonna very briefly poke into here and see if we can find the turnip seeds. Try to be very cautious of not stepping too much into the water, because...
because there's like a leech right there. Uh, maybe we should just wait till it's not almost nighttime. Yeah, let's uh, just. Uh... I mean, it's not that late, but let me at least mark the boat. We can get rid of that one because we're not there anymore. We might sail like this way next day just to see what's there. Alright, you know what? Never mind. We're gonna we'll, we'll come back after we um sleep. these doing? I haven't really, oh, well, some of them are probably done now. How about we sleep now, and when we get, when our character wakes up, they'll probably be ready to pick. Because if some of them are done, the other ones will probably be done soon. Okay, these are ready too. Some stamina pop meads. Not bad to hold on to. Just to have them around in case of an emergency. Let's make sure our stuff's fixed. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I'm not really worried about those right this second because once we get turnips, we're probably not going to grow carrots anymore. Unless we need, well, unless we need some more carrots. We'll probably plant like 50 carrots just to get some, a bunch of more seeds for next time. But other than that, yeah, we'll, uh... Joke's on you, fish. You got stuck in the wrong space. Right, just solely for the sake of going in here safely, we're gonna drink a poison resist, and we're gonna just kind of come in here and try to find a uh, try to find some turnip seeds. They're not super common. It's an ancient tree. Oh, look, there's a Draugr, my favorite. My favorite, I mean, not favorite. Oh, hey, found some. I could just grab these and just run away, and I probably would, probably should. Look at all the things coming out of the swamp to say hi. <laughs> You're like a two star freaking. Yeah. I mean, dragons aren't really that hard. You just have to parry them. If you don't parry them, they can do some, some noticeable damage. Unfortunately, one entrail is not going to be enough to do anything for us. Um. Hmm. I mean, six seeds ain't bad. But I definitely would like to go try to find some more seeds from this biome. Like this little strip of land. Oh, these poison dude, these po blobs are annoying too. Thankfully we have this poison resist on because otherwise these blobs hurt much more with their poison. 
fresh weapons do much better on them than my axe, but my axe is my best weapon, so we'll just kind of make deal. So let's see if we can find some more turnip seeds. I mean, they're not like super mega rare, but sometimes you just don't find them for a while too. It's just kind of the the just how the generation in this uh, game works is. Sometimes a lot of them generate, and sometimes none of them generate. It's just, uh, yeah. It's fun. But yeah, basically looking for, like, the kind of, like, greenish-yellow flowers. More than anything, really. Kind of, they kind of just pop. They kind of stand out. There's another Draugr. We can, we can, we can deal with the Draugrs. Like, they're not hard, but it can get really dicey if you get caught off guard or there's a few of them. Come here, Stinky. You're, like, on death's door. Thanks for the, thanks for the guts. You need four entrails before you can, uh... Oh, draw a trophy, of course. You need four entrails before you can make, uh... Oh, that one just... Boop! Boop to snoot. Yeah, you need, um... Four entrails before you can make sausages, but you also need a tier two cauldron. Which you need turnips for. Hence why I'm... Trying to get turnips and turnip seeds. Ooh, the, the archers are the fucking worst. I mean, you can parry them, but like... Like, as, as you can see, we, we blocking them their, their shots with just like our shitty shield is not very uh, advisable. If we, if we had made a, uh, a mace before coming here, it would do us good. And I'm still got poison resist, so I should just kill it, just fight it. Annoying ass skeleton. I just want turnips. <laughs> Punk ass. <laughs> Punk ass skeleton. Alright, come here. Come here, blob. Like once our poisoner just starts getting, uh, ooh, I think, I was gonna say, I thought I saw some more uh, turnip seeds, but appears I was mistaken. But yeah, once our um, poisoner just starts winding down, we're gonna be uh, leaving. And I'll cut my losses even if I don't find any more turnip seeds. We'll go back and we'll immediately like plant these. And also, as long as I have poison resist, the uh, the little uh, slime dudes are not very threatening. They don't really do much damage if you can resist the poison. Because they don't, like, physically attack you to do damage. They just kind of fart. <laughs> kind of fart in your general direction. Yeah, but, like, stuff like the Draugrs and the, um... And the leeches are more dangerous because they actually bite you or attack you or whatever. Oh! 
Okay, I think I think our adventure's done. We're leaving. <laughs> Those trees do not fuck around. They will kill you. So I, I think we'll cut our losses at six turnip seeds. <laughs> oh, that's a uh, nice. Uh, it's like, oh hey, uh, you thought you were doing something, huh? <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna just uh, leave now. That said, turn up, six turnip seeds is a nice start, but I wish we could have had a better start, because I think we need at least two or three of them to make the, um... I'll kind of retrace my steps to make sure I didn't, like, miss any extra turnip plants hidden around here. But, yeah, I think you need at least three turnips to make the tier two cauldron thingy. So, yeah, you need to at least find, like, two patches of those little seeds, like, that we did. So we can use, like, one harvest of the turnips to, um, make the next thing up a little, which lets us make better food, which is important. I'm just kind of combing around, seeing if there's any any other turnip seeds I may have missed. Probably not. They themselves are pretty hard to miss, just because they, they look they look a little distinct. Ooze! Of, stop following me, punk ass skeletons. Uh. make this thing and then we'll make this thing and we're gonna go back plant these, these turnips pick all of our carrots because they're going to be in the way otherwise. did that for. I think I just murdered some carrots like a fool. Let me just uh not do that. <laughs> Didn't even know you could do that. I don't even know you could hurt plants like that. I mean it makes sense swinging an axe at, a, at like a carrot plant would probably not make it very happy but you know. The more you know I guess. Uh, 
As it is, we're gonna have plenty of carrots from this, cause we plant 150 seeds, we get 150 carrots, and if we plant just 50 of those to make and uh, seed carrots, we will get well 150 seeds again. So it's very. We lost two carrots because of my sw my goofy swinging bullshit. So it's fine. It's a non-issue. We have to be very carefully plant these though. Like I'm gonna give them plenty of room. And then we're gonna put all the carrots away except for 50 and then we'll plant those and then we're gonna head off to do more stuff. Yeah, that'll be enough to keep us fed for a little bit on carrots. Whether we use that for um, boars or otherwise will determine, we'll just be determined by, I don't know. It'll be determined by, um, I don't know. I said the same thing again. But yeah, it'll just, we'll see. Because once we can get a good amount of uh, turnips going and growing, uh, carrots are kind of obsolete. Except for breeding boars, because they just are... They're the boarst! <laughs> Left, okay. All right, carrots have been planted. The turnips have been planted. They're all nice and healthy. They'll grow up just fine. Let's put away some more, some of this junk we got. this farther away because I think I ran over this this pile of resin that we had previously thrown out and just picked it up accidentally so let's uh, not do that let's see if it'll let us sleep just because it'll get us rested back and it'll just skip to the morning time and we can go sailing again No head, no limbs. Same. <laughs> well, it's currently raining in the black forest. Doesn't mean it's raining everywhere, though. So let's uh, head on through to the other side. Too care. Let's fix our boat. Might have a little bit of damage on it. Not much, but it might matter depending on if we. Um, oh, there's a f fucking leech. Of course, there's a fucking leech. Later, nerd. I don't even know where we're sailing. We're just kind of sailing now. Yeah, I don't think it's raining out here in the ocean. Oh, there's a, is that another swamp island? Yeah, it might be. Yeah, it's not connected to that, so yeah, this would be... 
at least an area of interest to check out. At least partially. Still looking for that jet plume of flame. Frank, if there's like one thing I could find to stream that I would be happy with, it would be finding a certling spawner. Cause yeah. That'd just be nice. Rune stone with uh Drogo Shit. That's that's just land. Uh that's uh, problematic. Let's uh sail backwards. Come on! We can do it! Oh no! Oh no, the leeches are hungry! Thankfully, I didn't get super caught on that sandbar. So we can actually get, get away from that situation. That would have been not great. Alright. Try again. Up. Oh. I think I keep running into all the leeches that are just like surrounding my boat. <laughs> Whee! What is going on here? Other than, other than my poor sailing skills being on like full display. There's a rock. <laughs> Just barely swerved that rock. Uh. <clears throat> Who gave this bean a boating license? <laughs> <clears throat> the wind is bullying me. And 
So are the gray dwarves. Or gray dwarf, rather. Still just trying to find one of those plumes of flame. <clears throat> like it's hard to stress how useful it is to have access to um, one of these certainly spawners. Because then you can just, like, oh, I need to make another portal. Do I have Serling cores? The answer is almost always going to be yes, because they drop them frequently enough to where you just wait for more to respawn if they don't somehow drop some. <laughs> I got a feeling we're going to have to find another island to, um... Find some of these, uh... Certling spawners, because look at all these fucking leeches. <laughs> the well, there's a sandbar right there. Oh, I was about to get out of the boat. Maybe I should just sail this way. I don't know. I don't think it's rainy on the ocean. I guess we're about to find out. I don't think it's rainy on the Black Forest either anymore, but... I just want to find a, a swamp that's not next to the plains that will just kill me. <laughs> That'd be great. My best chance that I'd be kind of going closer to like this part of the map. Because the closer you are to the center, the less you'll find like stuff like planes or whatever. Fish. Perhaps I should switch my angle now. See if I can run into an island over here or something. I'm kind of just sailing blindly out into the ocean. <laughs> Not very smart, admittedly, but I mean, if you're trying to find, like, ooh, I think there might be a landmass over there. It might just be this, but honestly, oh, there's one over there, too. Kind of 50 50 of what kind of island this is gonna be up ahead because just like the positioning on the map. 
Might be something in similar composition to this, maybe? But we'll just have to see when we get there. I'm just hoping we get there before the wind dies down. And before it becomes nighttime, because sea serpents can also spawn at nighttime if you're sailing around in the ocean. So yeah, you don't want to be sailing at night either. Unless you have a very unless you're just very good at fighting serpents or you have a, the better boat. Because if you have a long ship, those have a lot more HP than these little carved ships do. So, you have a much higher chance of surviving a serpent encounter. <clears throat> it's either a really big rock or... I think that's just a really big rock. That's either a really big rock or a very shallow part of the ocean. Ooh. Let me see if this is what I think it is. It might not. It might just be a. No, it might. It's just a normal island. That's okay. We're gonna be making a pit stop in this biome. To um. Yeah, it's just a normal island. Okay. We shall be making a pit stop here. To um. Go home <laughs> and sleep and such. We'll sail a little bit around just to kind of get a feel for what's on this island. Ooh. Hit a rock. <laughs> That's fine. Builds character. Or something. Or, or insert other unhelpful ass boomer phrases. Hardship builds character. No, it fucking doesn't. It makes you miserable. Might as well sail over the rest of the way over it. <laughs> Ooh, can we thread the needle? Probably not, but I'm gonna try it anyway. And we kinda got it. Oh, this is the Merchant's Island. Perfect. Well, let's, um... I just, I was wondering if this is where, where the merchant was. Ooh, that was a pretty big hit we took there. Pretty hefty hit. Probably just gonna have to sail this thing closer to the shore and beach it, and then we can like fix it and such. Or if it breaks, we'll just take the stuff from it in our inventory. Mostly because I just didn't know how much more HP this boat has. Oh, get out of my boat!
Let's uh, boats don't actually that hurt. I thought it was, I thought I honestly thought it was, took a lot more damage than that, but uh, we'll mark the boat on the map. But we are going to go see the the merchant like immediately. We'll uh, take this with us too. Dwarf destruction. Yeah, we're finding this trader that kind of changes our plans slightly. Not by an awful lot, but slightly. Because we want to have a portal next to this guy so we can come back here anytime we want. Oh, perfect. Well, we need one of We'll come through. We'll go, we're going to go through this, not the second, but wait, I'm just going to come in here so I can mark it easily. Get out of my way. <laughs> skeleton just see earlier in the game these skeletons would be problematic but they're just not anymore but here we go we have the trader I was expecting to take a lot longer to find him because it did took me a lot longer to find him on my uh, on my offline file there's here's the trader he's a he's a, ver a diverger named Haldor and this is his uh, Locks named Halstein. We don't have anything to sell him, but this guy sells a fishing rod and fishing bait and just a lot of very, very good stuff that you want. So we're going to set down this and we'll set down our portal. When, where did I get 10? What? I don't want 10. Go away. Where did I get fucking 10? Just... No. Be gone. You're, you're gonna get in my way again. I probably got it from one of those uh, crates that I... One of those little barrels I destroyed, but... Yeah, we're gonna go through here. They'll take us back home. We're gonna drop off some stuff. Like we're gonna empty out our bags or whatever of just all the random garbage you get from exploring places. Okay. This. I like how the bees just suddenly went qu very quiet. <laughs> Okay, we got some coal from probably the, uh, I want to say we got it from those, uh, bar with the barrels that we destroyed. More damn resin than we have use for. Yeah, Haldor is open 24 hours a day, so we can uh, just bring all of our junk to him right now and see what that lets us buy, because 
There's two things I immediately want to buy from him, but we might not have enough treasure stuff yet. We'll have to see. All right, bud. Well, we can't even afford Megan Yord, so that kind of leaves us to buying the circlet. Which will help us get more, uh, more treasure. It's a it's it's a helmet with only two armor, but it gives you this uh, sweet night sweet like flashlight. He's like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Why are you flashing my light in my face? But yeah, like with that, it makes it a lot easier to see inside of these uh, things that we were just in. That we're gonna go in and get more stuff. Because ordinarily you'd have to have like a torch or something in here, but with like... Fucking ghost. But yeah, with this you just... Kind of walk. Ooh. Oh, these rooms are like the best ones to find because they ha they usually have like a bunch of stuff in here like this and, not, and as you saw with one of the ones we went in earlier not all of them are quite as well endowed as this one this like one dungeon is already this one dungeon already got us like four which four certainly cores is enough for um, a set of portals so just th that one room got us enough to make the portals that we need to make sure we can get back to the trader Anytime we want, which is nice, but there's still a little bit more to explore in here, and we we do need some more treasure, so. Wow, well, it's because there's a little spawner here. Oh. I think that's a two-star skeleton, yep. Still not very scary at this point, but at least it's interesting. I think I heard a ghost or something, too. Uh, any other little guys? Yep, there's a ghost. even drop or do anything but okay well these runes don't always ha aren't always super kitted out with stuff but you know that's fine at the very least we got a uh, five sterling cores out of this place and I guess we could probably get some more mushrooms if we needed to I don't think we really need to I will try to do my due diligence to make sure I actually explored everything, but which I think we did at this point. Yeah, these dungeons aren't very long usually, but that's fine. We got five circling cores. That's plenty. Come here, tree bitch. Well, I was hoping to find this guy, but I hadn't really planned on it specifically, so that's nice. We're going to make a portal set just for him that we'll have to eventually move when we move house, wherever that may be. So let's, uh, I need to get fine wood and great wolf eyes.
Uh, we don't have an. We actually don't have enough for another set. We need like six more for another set. Trader. So we're gonna sleep, and then we're gonna go get some more fine wood from the forest. And we'll make that trader one, and then we'll continue on our, on our merry way. Uh. Admittedly, Megan Yord might have been a better thing to say about four than the um, the little light helmet we bought, but eh, it's a little late for that now, huh? <laughs> Now, admittedly, trolls are probably a better source of money than those little dungeons are. But, at the same time, eh. Okay, that'll be the other one for the trader. Once we get there, let's go get some more fine wood. Oh, don't don't run into that. No, oh, yeah, there's just another birch right here. That works. Birch, please. Okay, that's enough to make the portal. Really? Come here. Let's actually just close that in case some cheeky gray doors want to go destroy my crops. I wouldn't put it past them. No, oh, we got a birch seed. That's cool. Put that away. Any other seeds or anything I need to place away? <clears throat> Alright, we're going to go through this one. This one's still at the trader, but we're gonna make a different one at the trader. It's like specifically for the trader, so let's destroy this one. We'll destroy this. And you can see this little bubble right here, like where. Like you can't build stuff in. Okay, game, make me into a freaking liar. Um, yeah, you can't build stuff in here, but like outside of it, you can. So we're gonna be intentionally building this really close to this. Like about as close as it'll let us. Okay, and then we're gonna name this one to trade if I can spell trader and we should be able to go through it and we'll pop out of the other one that we built just now yep and this one is now unconnected because well it's not placed down so now we have a more or less permanent way to get back to this trader very easily very quickly it's to my, to my knowledge none of the stuff you can sell to him is stuff that won't pass through portals either so it's just we just get here now currently can't really buy much more I'll just do that all right, well, let's go to our boat. Let's go get back to our boat. 
don't need this right now, so we'll just turn that off and onward we go. Deer, get out of my goddamn way. <laughs> my god, dear way. There's a skeleton somewhere. I mean, there's probably one of those burial chambers somewhere as well. OBS, how are you possibly having occasional encoding issues with this fucking game? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Well, now let's see if, honestly, just finding traders made this stream a bit of a, of a success in its own right. Let's see if we can make it more of a success. Let's see if we can find um, that Sertling Spawner stuff that I was talking about. Can you not? you a little taint. Get away from me. Are you fucking kidding me? Get off the fucking shore. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus titty fucking Christ. <laughs> all right. We're off, we're, 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 we're ocean bound. Oh, it's just like a sand, big ass sandbar, in it. Uh, I should be able to sneak through right here. I wasn't expecting to find the traitor, but that's good. It's a very good thing to find. Because while you'll mostly want to have, like, not that light helm on when you're in the uh, swamp dungeons, once you have it cleared out, it'd be a it's a nice way to be able to see what you're fucking doing, because, yeah. <laughs> It's really dark and, and damp in there, and it's not great to not be able to see what you're doing. There's another island over there, too. <clears throat> is that freaking planes? I really hope it's not. But it probably is. Like that piece, at least. Oh, that absolutely is, so we're gonna steer nice and clear from that. Because the enemies that spawn in the planes by them would massacre me right now. Like, it wouldn't even be funny how badly they would. I just want to avoid going near that in, that entirely because I don't know if, how much that would be safe to get near so let's uh oh there's some swamp over here that's kind of where we want to go
Ooh. We we don't have um, our pickaxe on us, but that is a very interesting thing for us to find. Do a bit of a drive by on the uh, swamp here to see what we're working with. Perhaps you should look at what I'm supposed to be looking at instead of the map <laughs> or something else. Oh, there's one. See that plume of flame over there? That's exactly what I was looking for. That is exactly what we need. <clears throat> so let me see. Where was that? Okay, it's over there. Honestly, I could I could think of worse places to put our boat than like right here. Hey there, thanks for the resub. Perfect, perfect timing. Good to see. You. How you doing, bud? Oh, we just uh parking our parking our little shitty boat <laughs> right here. Everything's already just trying to kill us. <laughs> Fucking skeleton, go away. Give me your fart cloud. Skeleton. Steam key. Hope you're doing good this morning, bud. Let's. Or. Yeah, it's still morning, I think. Alright, so we're gonna go. Firstly, though, we're gonna drop off our, uh, our portal here. For now, because we have to go back and get a pickaxe. Oh yeah, this is this is definitely a squad game. I think it might be on Game Pass and it might be cross platform. I'd have to look more into those, but like I've seen when starting the game up there's like a cross play thing that I can see, so I don't know how that works, but yeah, this is this is definitely a uh, a game you can have a lot of fun with playing with a squad like you can just like squad up Alright, but yeah, we, we need to grab our pickaxe, because we're going to be doing some uh, construction work on this uh, spawner that we are, that I've been so desperately looking for. Let's also fix our shit, because it's probably, it's a little, our axe is, is very well used. <laughs> Alright, in we go. Wait, that's the trainer. We don't need to go back there. Shit. <laughs> Let's uh, go back to the correct place. Now I'm doing okay. Last week was hell because of work, but this week's a little better. And I'm taking fr I'm getting taking Friday off too from work. So yeah, I'm just getting trying to recoup my uh, rest. <laughs> Alright, 
so now we're gonna break you and you. Just trying to get through the swamp area. Specifically to this jet of flame. Look at these little dudes, these little fire dudes. They're not very scary. Partially because it's like raining all the time in the swamp, so they're just uh not well suited to to living here, but that's fine. That's not my problem. That's that's a them problem. Ah, punk ass, come here. <laughs> There's also a dungeon over there too. This is probably a uh, this is a really good swamp so far. I don't know if I've even seen a dungeon yet in all the swamps I'd looked at, so this is a good start. Let's kill this leech. At least make it go away. I should probably kill it. Come here. Look at this big ass. You want to bite this ass so bad. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, here he comes. He's like, ooh. I do, I do like to bite some big ass. Come here. Yeah, that's normally what you want to avoid is uh, getting bit by the leeches. They poison you, but we have poison resistance active right now bec because I kind of felt that we we're probably going to be dealing with something like that. Uh, let's, let's press 5 and start flattening the ground here. The fun thing about these little, uh, these little fire dudes is that when they touch water, they start dying very rapidly. So if you make their little spawner... Um, in the water, they will just spawn and then just like die, <laughs> like instantly, <laughs> which is v very good for us, but not for them. But that's fine. It, it can be bad for them. It doesn't matter. F to their feelings don't matter to us right now. <laughs> okay, so this is nice and uh, probably set up how we want it. I'm gonna mark these little guys on the map, like with like some like certlings or something like that. Let me uh, do something like this. Certlings. And let's get rid of this tree stump in the way. It's just kind of annoying. And these guys uh, respawn at their little thing every five minutes after they are killed. Let's uh, get rid of some more of this ground here. So that there's less chance that they spawn over here. Oh, I was on fire. Another good thing about about these jet fire plumes is if these if the big tree monsters that show up in this biome sometimes come after you, you can kind of like fight them near these and catch them on fire, and they'll take a lot of damage, and it makes it a lot easier to kill them. Because I'll tell you now, right now we are not equipped at all to deal with the, the big abomination tree things that can sometimes show up. I just want to kind of see these, show y'all when these spawn. They should probably just like show up and like die immediately. So we're kind of just hanging out. <laughs> we'll end up setting up a little area right here. You don't want like your portals or your like workbenches near this because then they won't spawn, which is not what you want. <laughs> <clears throat> so let's just uh, kind of, we're just kind of hanging back for a sec. Food's still nice and full. Shouldn't be much longer until they uh, uh, make their return. And I will greet them with open arms. Well, I'll greet their items with open arms because they themselves aren't going to exist for very long. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully they don't spawn like up there or something. I don't think they would. 
but it's also a remarkably high bit of ground for the swamp. That's kind of interesting. All right, shouldn't be much longer for them to uh, spawn now. We don't have anything. To, uh, oh. Yep, see, they just spawn right in the water, and they'll just die. I was expecting more than one to show up, but maybe, maybe they, oh, they, that's because I killed them staggered. Yeah, they just, they, 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 they show up, and then they just die. <laughs> oh. And we can just pick up their stuff. It's. It's pretty easy. Yeah, we want to. We don't want to be in the swamp when it's nighttime, though. So let's uh make sure this little thing is a bit away. Okay, and then we'll put down another our portal somewhere as well. We can fix, yeah, we can fix this more when it's not nighttime and we're in the swamp. We don't want to be in there because these uh, wraith monsters can spawn that are awkward to fight and they do a lot of damage. Don't want to deal with that, so we're, we're not going to deal with that. <laughs> yeah, already from killing those dudes, those little fire dudes, we got four of these core things which you use to make portals with. And we got 22 coal that we didn't have to make ourselves. So, yeah, those are very nice to have access to. And just finding one of those alone has made this stream a success. We also found the trader, which is nice. But I wasn't really expecting to find him yet anyway. But we did. So that's cool. <clears throat> we probably have enough time to... <coughs> Other than feel like my lungs trying to escape my throat. Uh, we probably have enough time to also, um, go through, go, at least go into one of the, uh, the swamp dungeons. Oh, wow, that one, that one fish gave us four raw fish. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was going to give us two. Cool. Alright, let's put, and I already had four from somewhere else, too, so, yeah, we're, 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 we're definitely set up for success with these, uh... Sterling cores now, because... Like, every five minutes, those will all respawn. Those little guys will respawn. And they'll just basically die. They'll just be... They'll be born just to die. <laughs> Which now means our current limiting factor is going to be, um, I didn't even see your hydrate. Sorry, I'm going to just polish off my coffee here. Mm. <clears throat> re -ricious. Yeah, we're gonna want a permanent portal for that uh, little certainly spawner, just so that we can uh, use that other portal in other places. Ooh, we got our stuff. This stuff might all be done. Uh, turnips aren't. Oh, one of them is. Turnip. This thing needs three turnips, so three of our six turnips that we're going to be growing here are going to immediately be used to make the next uh, tier of thing. But or, or like, did one of those just poof? I wasn't sure if one of them just poofed. <clears throat> I might have seen one of the carrots doing that. Come on, turnip. You know you want to. You, you want to grow so badly. They're like right like at the cusp. There we go. 
And now we can just deal with the others. Maybe next stream, I don't know. Probably come back and tend to this stuff before the end, but... Alright, let's see this, uh... Hanging doodad, we need... Three, three this five mushrooms is the limiting thing, because I know I don't have any of those right now. So, let's see. I, had, I thought I had some marked on the map somewhere. There's one, two... Okay, well, looks like we're gonna go run... We're gonna go frolic in the forest and picking mush pick mushrooms. And then we do need some more fine wood, too, so we'll, we'll kind of roam around and get some from these birch trees and... We're gonna need at least uh, we're gonna need 40 because we want to make a full set We're gonna make two portals specifically for that little uh, spot where that spawner is And then meantime we kind of like look around and see if I missed any mushroom spawns in the forest over here. Oh, hey, here's a This we, It's probably from when we previously had a troll running around this area and we had it help us get some trees because super early game, you can't cut these birch logs yourself. But if you go to the black forest biome, which is one of these like tall pine trees over there, and if you can find a troll, you can have it follow you back to this place, have it start just, have it, and kind of trick it into swinging and hitting trees and knocking down some birch trees. Which is an early way to get some uh, fine wood that you otherwise have to wait to get to. <laughs> I did get him. I was hoping the tree would kill the little plant dude. <laughs> oh, this game's great. I love this game. Of like the recent games I've started playing and play now, this has got to be one of my favorites. Like, it's so good. So good. All right, we need like probably another birch tree and then we'll be able to make this, that portal set. Still just kind of looking around for uh, mushrooms. We have a few spots marked on the map, but that's very few. I was expecting there to be more. Kind of have to keep your eyes on the ground to, to find their spawn points, though, because they're, you know, they're, they're just little guys. Oh, well, we'll, we'll uh, beat, we'll bully this tree. Let our stamina recover a little bit. Oh, that should be enough. Yeah, just enough, too. Nice. Uh, let's see. Can I see any uh, mushrooms? We're probably just going to go up to this little spawn that I, see, that I marked of them. Trying to keep my eyes open on the little ground. Hmm. Well, there's nothing in here. Oh well. Where's that again? Just kind of directly this way. Alright. Rude. I'm just minding my own business. Some raspberries here. I'll mark these for posterity. 
You definitely want to like mark these kind of things in the map when you find them because as long as you don't like destroy them Like if you don't destroy these raspberry bushes after you pick them like every five game hours They'll respawn so you can just like make like big like Kind of harvesting runs of all like the natural resources and then just kind of when you need more or if like you have one one near your base that you picked during that that you see is back then you can go get the rest of them again because some of the better foods need resources that you don't specifically grow yourself all the time like like the sausages we're gonna be making soon need thistles which are found in the black forest oh is this really is just like one mushroom here all right. Well, that's fucking unfortunate. Man, I really didn't find that many mushrooms around here. I'm gonna have to comb the area for some more. There's a boar. Boar, I said boar. Oh wait, there's some, see they're very easy to miss. So what I like to do is like to hoe the ground where I find mushrooms at so it's a lot harder to miss them. And also very importantly, marking them on the map. <laughs> I like doing like shorthand like that just cause it's quick in case you're like marking stuff and you need to kind of not be in that area anymore. Like if you're getting attacked or whatever. So let's kind of roam the area, the forest around here, see if we can find some more. Because we still need like one mushroom to make the thing we're going to make. So we've got a few more raspberry bushes here so let's mark those too cuz yeah some reason why I didn't keep going this way oh but I think I'm near one of the mushroom spawns uh, it's like kind of down there on the coast so we're gonna go grab that and then we're gonna head back and make our thing anything in here there might have been at some point, but I probably already kind of swept through there and got whatever. Oh, I didn't think I was going to make that jump. I was preparing myself for the worst. Oh, I do have these marked. Um, there might have been like a little house or something here that I br destroyed for wood or something. Otherwise, that's kind of what I do when I find mushrooms is flatten the ground. As y'all saw.
stinky little tree man. Okay. I have it marked as being over here. Oh. Yep, here we go. And there's like two. <laughs> That's pitiful. Well, you know what? It's fine. That is more than I need. I should probably be carefully exploring these like surrounding areas of this like kind of wooded part. See if maybe I can find some more mushrooms because there are some later recipes in later parts of the game that do also use these mushrooms. So it'd be nice to have some more spots for them. And then, case in point here, we've got some raspberries I either didn't see or didn't mark. I don't know which, but we're gonna remedy that. We're likely gonna be moving our base somewhere else. At this point, probably next stream. But for now, we'll keep our base here where we already have it. Alright, let's see. This thing needs five mushrooms, three thistles, two carrots, three dandelions. Should have, should have most of that stuff. Not all of it. I can't even remember the amounts. I just said three thistles, two carrots are what I need left. Oh boy, it's raining. Yay. Okay, and then the two Kakarots. And now we should be able to build this thing. Like, I'll probably have it hanging from like there if I, if possible. Just because kind of a, aesthetically pleasing to have like your spice rack hanging from like the ceiling there. But yep, that, that makes this cauldron level 2 having the set piece nearby. Which makes, lets us make a bunch more stuff. Like more different kinds of mead bases. Oh, that was probably because we found like blood bags or whatever, but sausages. It takes, it takes four uh, entrails per craft. Four entrails, one thistle, and one boar meat, but that gives you like four like good food. Like better than the cooked fish. Like, matter of fact, like, we're probably just gonna stop, not even eat that cooked fish that I made for eating, you know? Like, we're just not, we're just not gonna. I do still have to deal with the carrot soup, though, which is fine. The, uh, turnip soup we can eventually make is similar ingredients, but uses boar meat and turnips, which boar meat is easy to get. And once we have a bunch of turnips growing, those are also going to be easy to get, so. It's a better food than the um, carrot soup, but that's kind of like our best stamina food for now, because, yeah, it just kind of is. Okay, put that away. 
that away. Uh, that means all these current foods also all have similar times now with the um, what you call it here the um, jerky there being a little longer lasting, but that's fine. And yet again, we've got way too much of this damn resin, so we're just gonna store it somewhere just to get out of our get get out of our hair. Okay, so we got we have enough stuff to make the um the portals for the certling guys. So we're gonna sleep, and then we're gonna make the portal the permanent portal for those guys. And there was a uh, dungeon with the green flames. That's where you. We, that's our next objective is to go in there. <laughs> There's just always so much to do in this game, or at least almost always. So we'll make one of these here. We're gonna make it Certlings one. Cause a good thing to do is if you find multiple of these spawners that you want that you can set up, you put like a portal outside of each of them, and then you kind of link all them all together with other portals. So you can like go through like the first one, grab stuff, go through the second one, grab their stuff too, and then just head back through all the portals. <laughs> It just makes it really easy to kind of just get a bunch of the the certling cores and coal and stuff for very little effort. So when we go through here now, they should, they should all spawn and should just die, like almost immediately. Yep. Yeah, there they go. <laughs> and then we just literally just run in there, grab all the stuff, and yeah, we got two more certling cores from just. From literally doing nothing. All right. We're gonna destroy this, and we're just gonna rename this one to Certlings One, because that's the name of the other one that we'd have there anyway. Okay, so that's set up. We can probably good to uh, flatten the ground a little here maybe move this down by a little bit uh, fine punk ass bone punk ass boner <laughs> Okay, this is. I don't want to get too comfortable in here because it's still very dangerous. Even if I'm just doing silly stuff like this. Circling one. All right, that's a much easier way to um, do things. Let's head back through, grab a little bit of wood. Like ten more, so we can make a chest at this uh, dungeon place. And we can go through the Sertlings one. haven't spawned again yet, but that's fine. We're not super concerned about that. 
Something to be more concerned about is kind of making this a little bit more accessible. the hoe to kind of flatten the ground to make it a little less uh, a little harder for the leeches to get at you because it's like solid ground instead of just water they can swim through because they don't they don't do very well on the land but yeah this makes it easier to get around oh th there's another one over there further off in the distance you can see that bit of fire there that's one of these. They're, they don't always spawn in very good locations. But when they do, they're very useful to have because that means that's another, like, three little circling dudes that we could have die for us every five minutes. All right. Anyway, we're going to build our crafting thingy here. have a chest here. And... Normally, it's suggested to build your, this portal that I'm going to build right here, like, like on top of this. Because you can, like, build this and then jump up here. And other stuff won't be able to get at you really easily. But, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, our current mission in, in life is going to be to go in here and not get that. We don't really need to get that much uh, iron to to kind of do what we need to do. We only really need to get like two. So we might not even have to really go very far in here at all. Because you get the iron from um, these, uh, these scrap piles like this. But let's be cautious and... Okay, so that's a way you get to swim through. That's kind of annoying. Now, what about up here? Oh, okay. This might be a dead end, so we could probably just break this stuff pretty uh, safely. Or we might just get unlucky and not get any iron from this scrap pile. So far we haven't gotten any. <laughs> and sometimes you get you just get like awful of these dungeons that generate too, like where there's just like nothing really in them. Which always sucks. And sometimes you can get really lucky and get a lot of like chests full of just a lot of loot chests just full of iron too, so it's like Kind of just a kind of just a gamble, really. There we go. There's one scrap iron. I think we need two to make the stone cutter. There we go. That's all we need to do in here right now. That's all I wanted is just two. Okay, let's put. Oh, hey, they're dead again. <laughs> well, might as well. And sometimes you get ones, you'll get some uh, certlings that spawn with stars, which basically just means they, um, like they'll have a star next to their name, like you've seen with my boars or like with some of the other enemies, which means that they'll drop, they're, they're more, they have more HP and do more damage, but they also drop like, more and more drops as you go along. Like, you, like the first, like they'll double the drops at each star level. Like, so like a, like a one star, like a no star board will drop like one, one uh, hide and like one meat. A one star board will drop two of each. Oh, there's a oh, ow, where are you at? There you are. Might up if I actually have my axe equipped. Fucking Christ. Fucking driver just rolled out of nowhere at me. 
That's another bad thing about this biome is it's just kind of dark and nasty and just shit can just come at you like for, for no out of nowhere. But we need to get some stones so we can make a smelter here so we can just smelt the iron and then we can make the stone cutter and then we can uh, finally use up some of our stone. We're gonna let's grab a stack of stone while we're at it. I mean, both of my portals are pretty close right now, so it doesn't really matter which one I take. But this one's more directly uh, there. Let's see, yeah, we're gonna go right here. Get this. Let's see. Grab our iron ore, or scrap iron rather. Put in the smelter. And we have some shark, we have some coal already because of the, the certlings that just have been just dying. So we'll load that up. Don't really need, didn't really need to load up that much, but you know, whatever. It's cool, it's fine. We'll let that kind of go. We need to probably get some wood because we're gonna have to, to, we're gonna need a little bit of wood at least. I don't know how much, I'll grab 10. I don't know if that's the amount. I never really pay attention when I'm making my stone cutter. How much wood it takes. I just know I need some stone as well. So we'll, we'll grab like 10. And if I need more, I can just literally come back. It's fine. Also, why do I have you on me still? Well, that said, two more entrails, and we can make some more smosages. Some tasty smosages. Mmm. For good measure, I'm going to grab another stack of stone. These might already be done. They are, and we get a bunch of we get a bunch of new stuff to make, as you can see. Like a lot of new stuff, like <laughs> a ton. But the stone cutter is chiefly what we're wanting to make. Which, hey, I was right. It is ten wood. All right, so we're gonna. I mean, it's fine. Like, putting this down for doing our building stuff will uh, probably make it to where the, the guy, little guys can't spawn, but that's fine. Oh, there's not a workbench here. Oof. Oof, indeed. Because you have to have a workbench, and then you make the, the stone cutter. That's fine. We'll go get ten more wood. I can... Oh. <laughs> the iron prevents us from leaving. That's okay. We'll just... Throw it on the oh, I landed on the table. That's cool. That's nice. <laughs> Didn't plan that. Usually can't really get things to land that well on tables like that, so it's kind of a Okay, these these turn ups here are ready, so we're gonna grab them. And all these carrots are also their seeds are ready. I might make a chest and put it like near this area so I can just hold all the seeds and shit that I currently have like in that one chest in my inside. I'll probably just move it out like here at the farm. I, I think it makes sense. So let's grab out like 20 wood. 10 for the stone cutter back at the other place. I'm just gonna grab a few things out of here that are gonna eventually go in. I mean, I gotta have this chest like right here. And like all the, all like this 
junk can go here. We're not gonna worry about the carrot seeds right this sec. We're gonna plant. We might plant some of them, but we're more we're gonna be gearing more. We're gonna kind of be transitioning more towards doing the. Um, we're gonna transition towards doing turnips going forward. So right now that right now when we don't have that many. Um. Turnips, we could probably get away with planting some carrots just to kind of keep the, um, keep things going. Like, you can probably plant these hundred carrots and not really feel that bad about it. But I'm, I'm more worried about the turnips right now because we only have three now because we had to use three of them otherwise to, um, I'd, otherwise, I'd use three of them to make more, uh, to make the thing to make so, so we can make sausages. But we're gonna plant these seed turnips, and those three will turn into nine, and then those nine will turn into twenty-seven eventually, and that twenty-seven will turn into like eighty-one. And once you get up to where you can do like fifty to one fifty, that's when it gets really easy to just consistently grow a bunch of food. Anyway, enough of that. Back to our friends. Our, our, our new best friends, the little fire dudes. As soon as we show up, they're probably gonna show up and, yep, <laughs> they're dead again. All right. Oh, the iron is over here on the table. So the cool thing, cool thing about these workbenches is items that are in their vicinity do not despawn. All right. Oh, here comes Stinky. We're probably going to need to use a, uh, yeah, we're, it's in our best interest to do so because armor reduces poison damage, but not by an awful lot. And I'd rather not just, like, bleed out of my asshole right here while trying to build this thing. All right. Anyway, building. We can now build with stone since, well, stone cutters here. So we're going to be trying to, um... First, let's put this one down. Is this still in water? No. That's probably not in water either. Okay, yeah, these, we want these we want the stone bits just barely underwater. Which means more digging. That's okay. It's not hard to really do. And these like plumes of fire don't like disappear if like you mine around them or whatever. Kind of trying to just eyeball where these bits are, or I want these bits to go. Oh no, I could probably just do it like this. Uh, no, not there. Mmm, close, but not quite. Now, this is all like superfluous stuff I'm doing now. You don't even have to do this, but I like doing it that this way. Uh, what do 
don't I just do it? Yeah, why don't I just do it like that? Maybe, maybe, that's probably a good idea if I, you know, do it correct. How about like that? Eh, close enough. This also just gives me something to do with stone, because up till now, I've just you just can't really build much out of stone, and it just fills up all your fucking boxes. So, I don't. I like doing stuff like this, if possible. Let's uh, break this. Oh, we ran out of stone. Well, that is one good thing about building out of stone, is that you tend to use it up pretty quickly, at least. I'll hop out here, grab a little bit more, another stack of stone, finish that up, and then we'll probably call the stream there. But I, I'm honestly really thrilled that we not only found the trader, but we found um, little sirlings. And there's even another one across the way that we haven't even went to go look at yet, so... Oh, all in all, a pretty sweet deal. And they're currently uh, not... Um, hmm. Do I want it more angled this way, though? Because currently, if we're, like, over here, it's kind of, like, at a weird angle. But that really doesn't matter. Hell, this doesn't matter that I'm doing now, so, you know, it's like, hmm. What, which thing that doesn't matter do I want to focus on? <laughs> yeah, that's plenty. That should be, like, kind of like their general spawn area. Let's kind of watch the skies, because that's where the little ghost, the ghost guys come from. I kind of want to keep this open because if we have one of those tree monsters show up, we can like kind of hang out over here, like near the fire, and it'll like catch on fire and take a lot of damage really easily for us not having to actually be able to do much damage. All right, uh, for now I think that's enough. For this, if we break this, they should probably start spawning again. Yep. As you see, they spawn on the thing. They try really hard to get away, but they just can't, and then they die, and then we grab the stuff, and it's easy. Easy day. <laughs> Alright, so. Yeah, I'm definitely going to call this stream a success. Well, I'll just put this iron in here. Put that wood in there, and I think it was like four stone. Uh, yeah, four stone, two iron, ten wood, and we have that in here for making a one, there's, I, I, I know I saw another one somewhere over there, I can't see it right this second, but, it might be behind a tree, but, yeah, we're gonna take our, all this extra stuff from the certainly friends, and put stuff away and that's gonna be the stream for today let me start just putting shit away I think this is kind of just becoming a drunk a junk drawer so to speak because we have too many bones in our normal other drawer these can kind of just go in here it's kind of like our like metal drawer Okay, what else we got? Uh, I don't know where I put those. In here? Uh, let's put them in, like, here, I guess. These can move to here, because this is a drunk junk drawer, but it's also can be, like, for mead. 
so that can go these can go there too because those are used in meads and food so we can just kind of put them there all right and we have trophy drawer eventually maybe not even that far in the future we can make something we can use to turn trophies and other items into coal which i mean we have the spawner so that's not as dire of a need but like most of this coal we've gotten from just those little dudes it doesn't take long to get a nice amount of coal from just them and their suffering oh <laughs> uh. Yeah, we're going to need to keep making carrot soup and probably some more boar jerky, too, to kind of keep us going until we get the better stuff. But we're going to fix our stuff, sleep, and then we'll come back. Out, we'll go back outside to kind of pre-stage for next stream. The next stream, we might try to, we might try to like, explore... Um, These might be connected, actually. There's a... Excuse me? Stop it. I'm trying to end the stream. Punk ass. <laughs> oh, now I gotta sort all that garbage again. Yeah, that's also why I want to move, because these things are just a pain in the ass. But anyway, yeah, let's go. Let's go to sleep now. We'll do the map looky thing during the day when it's a little less likely to have great orbs. Oh. <laughs> I said a little less likely, but there's still fucking. Did he just like despawn or did he just like run away? I don't know. It, I I could be convinced one way or the other. <laughs> oh. Anyway. I was looking over here at this place where we found the certlings. To like this these might be connected. There's a possibility at least. I didn't really like look too hard to see if this continent part was connected down here, but there's a chance, so we might look into that next time, because I might want to move house to maybe here or something. I don't know, but I'm a little over living where I am now. I mean, it's not super far from spawn, but we can make portals now pretty much when we want, so that's not exactly a desperate need. We, we will want to make a portal at spawn so we can come back there when we need to but otherwise yeah it's we can kind of set up base where we want so we might end up doing something like maybe we can find a nice meadows somewhere in here or something that we can move to but yeah that's gonna be where we in the stream today got got a lot of good stuff done we got a little sloppy a little soggy Caught it, got it caught on fire a few times because I'm a fool, <laughs> but what else is new? All right, so stream end. Thank you all for coming by. Appreciate the company. Um, I do have. I I am not on call this weekend. I thought I was, but I'm not. So we'll be probably doing another big Saturday stream with um, Wario Land two in the morning, RimWorld in the afternoon, and. Evening, just the big Minecraft stream of just me trying to focus on one single thing in my entire life and probably still failing to do it. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna be in the stream now. Let me see if I can find someone to raid into. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Uh, oh. Looks like Neki is playing Final Fantasy XIV. I don't get to raid Nekora very often. And sometimes, like, more urgent raids come up. But now is a perfect time. So we're going to end the stream. And we're going to raid into Nekora Ray playing Final Fantasy XIV. I'll see you there. And if I don't see you there, 
Hopefully I see you next time I stream. Or if not, I'll just see you around. You know, have a great day.